uh, women in India are breaking several stereotypes. Uh, financial independence has opened up many avenues for women. And the effect uh, is that women are not just concentrated to FDs and gold. They are diversifying. And how? Today, in a special Women's Day series, we speak to a group of retail investors on how they manage their investments. It's always said no, that do not put all your eggs in one basket. You should always diversify. So what is your strategy when it comes to investing in stocks and mutual fund? And how do you diversify your portfolio? So uh, honestly, I, I've been like fortunate enough to be in the BFSI sector itself. So I mean, I, I work with a wealth management company. So that gives me a lot of knowledge as to you know what's happening in the market. So that really sort of made me much aware with the market. Honestly, I was very intimidated with the market initially when I thought of investing because traditionally my parents also always thought that you know if you have surplus money, keep it in FD. But I mean, because I'm in this industry and I've you know sort of gained knowledge as to you know there are various securities that you can uh, invest. Well, I obviously chose mutual fund because for me investments are currently long term and like I said I'm intimate, intimidated with the market so I started with mutual funds but while I've been investing for the last 5-6 years I've understood that direct equity is also not that bad. So as we speak today I'm not really investing in direct equity but I mean I would, I would sort of like to take that you know uh, leap of faith also of investing in direct, direct equity. And so there was this interesting uh, data, I mean, I would say quite sad data. Um, so uh, the data is like there, there have been declining trend when it comes to, you know, opening of DMAT account with respect to women. So Anmol, my question to you is, uh, what should one do to increase the financial literacy amongst women? First is we need to target educational courses and workshops where we can have these discussions about what exactly is mutual funds, how has your experience been. Uh, especially discussion among peers is most helpful. It not only guides you, it also helps you understand their previous experience as what has their been journey and it kind of leads you. You don't have to uh, start from step zero. You can start at step one because of the right guidance. So those are very important. Even for me, I started investing in mutual funds because of recommendation from my peer. They told me how it works. Especially these conversations I feel don't usually happen among women right. a lot. Right. Men usually will talk about, ki, okay, we're investing in stocks, this has been the result. But in women, we have to start talking about it. Emily, uh, Mahima this side, so my question to you is that you manage uh, your family portfolio as well as your portfolio. Uh, how important do you think is a woman's participation in terms of family uh, financial decisions? Oh, it's very, very important that women need to be a part of uh, the decision-making process as far as finances are concerned because we all know that women are mostly managing the day-to-day -day affairs of the household and a woman uh, who is financially literate, who has a sound relationship with money, the whole uh, financial health of the household will really depend on that. So that becomes, you know, somebody who is aware, she will know you know, it's not just, you don't have to be frugal only. Like housewives are told they have to be frugal. They have to save. Where do you put your savings? If your savings are lying in the locker, they're useless. So if you've saved that money, you've got a corpus, you have to invest it wisely. You know, be prudent with your money. Make your money earn for you. Money breeds money. We all know that. Another very important factor why women should be important part of the decision making is because we are setting the right precedent for the future generations. You know, because... If my child is to take a huge home, uh, a huge student loan today, I mean, the rest of her life or his life will be interred in paying off that debt. And then his, for his expenses, he will take on a credit card and he will, he will get caught in that vicious circle of, you know, paying, borrowing and paying off and poor things will never be. So you, if you have a healthy relationship with your money, you will teach that forward. And probably, you know, we're doing, we serve the society better.